just got in the mail um, Function of Beauty, like their shampoo and conditioner. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I wish that the bottles were bigger. Like, I feel like they're a little deceiving. Um, but they're just 16 ounces shampoo and conditioner. And the fragrance that I chose is Rose, um, and it smells so good. Like, it smells just like Rose, but I have got these for, like, school and my new apartment and just, like, things I'm going to be trying. So I'll give, like, a review. I think I want to do a review on these things because I'm really into, like, vegan, cruelty-free um, hair care. And, like, this is what comes in the mail. And then it kind of tells you like your goals and your profile and like things like that that interest you um, and things that you just like want to kind of improve on. And so like I want anti-frizz, like hydrate, lengthen, that kind of stuff. Um, and so I'll see like I'm going to try it and well obviously I'm going to try it but like I'll let you guys know what I think because this is kind of a trendy thing right now. People are trying this, they're getting a lot of business and like I thought it was cute. It comes with these little stickers. Uh, I thought that was really fun. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys know like what I think and my review on these because I think a lot of people are going to be trying them. And like if it really works and helps, then I'm, I'm so down. So yeah, super cute and I will let you guys know. Also, these are the really cute flowers I got from the farmer's market today. I just put them in a little, in a little mason jar. I also need a vacuum today, so that's one thing that I'm also going to be doing. When you are packing and moving, and this is your room. This is your room at the moment. It's so hot in here. Long time no chat. Um, I came into our garden to just, I love exploring it and seeing new things bloom. It's really wonderful. We have a beautiful garden here at my home. I just wanted to, I don't know, check in and say hi. And this, this vlog is just like a bunch of stuff, a bunch of fun things that I'm doing and, um, have going on and I'm enjoying it. I think it's super fun. I hope you guys are too. Let me know what you think. 
Today I had to go to Staples and get some school supplies because this girl's gonna be taking notes. Um, all my courses are online because of the virus, so I will just be in my apartment that I am moving into in a few days, just doing schoolwork. That's my plan. So. That last clip ended because my dad called me. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to come in. Oh, here, I need a glass. Oh, hold on. I wanted to talk about a little bit of just going to college with an eating disorder because I do talk a lot about body image, body dysmorphia, eating disorders, primarily anorexia or any type of restriction subtype. Um, because it's, it's a whole different ball game trying to go to college um, and study or be in a new place, um, adapt with an eating disorder. It's really hard and I did it last fall. I was in a safe spot in my recovery where I felt like I could um, be healthy and make healthy choices and thankfully I did. But it's crazy and big life moments like that, big life shifts, Any, it can be any type of thing. Um, any major shift in your life that causes you to adapt and to feel sort of out of control is a major trigger for your eating disorder. And I want to tell everyone that you got to put yourself first and um, you need to get healthy before you can do all of these things. Trying to navigate all different paths all at once is only going to lead you to feeling overwhelmed to not giving your all to any of those things that are super super important so your recovery is super important if you're worrying about school at the same time you're not going to be able to give that all your all or all of your attention and same thing with school if you're focused on your recovery it's going to be very difficult to do school so i wanted to advocate everyone to really listen to themselves and know where they are in their recovery and make a smart choice for themselves because going to school you don't know what's going to happen the the food's different it may be harder to stick with your food plan um you know or you might just get that feeling of being out of control and that's not great and that's very triggering for your eating disorder and I just want to say to take a step back and to maybe do some journaling and really think about what is best for you in this time. Like what is going to give you um, the most healing? Are you ready to go to college or to continue on with college or to, it could be anything, continue on to a certain job, um, a certain move, a big, whatever big life change that may, or that could happen for you. Is this the right time for that? Your mental health is of the utmost importance more important than anything else more important than your education M more important than anything so that needs to be squared away first and signs that I knew that I was ready to go on with college was that I felt comfortable in my meal plan I felt comfortable with challenging myself of doing fear foods um, and I really went on like a little like fear food tour this summer before I started like my freshman year of college because I really wanted to challenge myself and feel comfortable in those times where if I was with my friends and having fun with my friends and if I wanted to um, have a certain treat or a certain thing, I'm not gonna label foods. Cause I don't do that. I don't like to do that on this channel, but I felt like having a treat or a fear food or something like that, I wanted to allow myself to do it and feel comfortable because I might be in situations and same with you, going to college, you might, you might come across situations where you feel out of control or maybe they don't have something you're super comfortable with to eat so that was one way i knew i was ready and then i also just like part of my feeling of out of control 
in my life which kind of instilled my eating disorder and my restrictive habits is that I felt out of control. Like I didn't have re a really a life plan I was modeling and modeling is so up in the air and I'm such a scheduled person that it was very, very difficult to for me to feel in control of my life. And so going to college really helped me feel in control and I felt like I was taking charge of my life. And so that was something for me that made me feel super pumped for college. And so you really just need to look at how you're feeling about it. Are you ready to challenge yourself? And it can be a place, you know, where maybe you feel that way and then you get there and that's not really the case. I just really wanted to urge anyone who's going into a major life shift, who's going to college, any of that kind of stuff during their eating disorder recovery to really talk with a therapist, talk with yourself, do some journaling, and think about what's really, really best for you. Because um, it's a crazy, crazy up and down roller coaster of a recovery. Recovery is not linear. There's gonna be bumps in the road and I want what's best for you and everyone wants what's best for you. So yeah, take that time to really think to yourself about what is best for you. Cheers. Cheers to that. So for school, I'm getting an iPad an iPad Pro, which I'm super excited about because I just love the interactiveness of like the taking notes and everything and it's the editing software I use for my YouTube videos is awesome and I can't wait to use it on an iPad platform. So I have to go right now figure out how to back up all that stuff, how to do all of this. Levi has a vet appointment they come to us so like we're not taking him into a vet right now they come to us and we are like outside and that kind of stuff to just keep everyone safe so um he has a little vet appointment because i think he has an ear infection which is really sad um yeah poor puppy um this vlog is really fun i re actually really really enjoy vlogging and i hope that this is really fun to watch so I'll keep you guys posted. I'll show you all about like my packing and that kind of stuff. I'm like so overwhelmed with packing. I don't know if any of you guys ever get super overwhelmed with like the amount of things that you have because you don't think you have that much stuff and then you're getting all of it and it's like, oh my gosh, like why do I have so many things? So yeah, I'll show you guys. I have a lot of clothes that I'm bringing like I swear. Good thing my closet's big in my apartment. So yeah, I'm also super excited for my apartment because I'll have so many fun places to film and yeah. So I'll see you guys. I'm gonna go battle with technology now. She calls me day and night I'm sorry girl, you just don't make me feel right I never meant to make you cry, you were right So I just got a set active, active wear set and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it um, but I love it, I love this purple color My bathroom is an absolute mess because as you know, I'm in the midst of moving, but also got these Nike sneakers. They're like tennis court sneakers. And then I just put these on. Also, these are really good quality and I just feel like I want to be comfortable. I had to buy some new things just because my body has changed and I think that's okay and we all need to be okay with that and understand that that happens. So I needed to buy some new clothes. Love it, I feel really, really good, so. I have been moving into an apartment. 
So, I was not able to properly film an outro, so I figured I'd do it now, while I'm getting ready for bed. Um, seems like the perfect time, obviously. That's when everyone films their outros. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I am moved in, I am settled, so I'm really excited to just do a lot of fun videos, a lot of fun vlogs, and I really like doing this, this sort of video. I thought I have a sunburn and it like is peeling. It's just so bad. Anyways, not that anyone needed to really like know that. So don't forget to feed yourself, fuel yourself, treat yourself with love and kindness always, and keep up the good work. And I'm gonna wash my face and go to bed. So good night, good morning, have a great day, have a great night everyone watching thank you giving you love from the bottom of my heart thanks for watching my probably pretty crappy but like fun videos so yeah All right see you guys